Welcome back to Studio 701. There's nothing like getting to listen to live local music on a Monday. There just isn't, which is why we're so happy to have Studio Entertainment every Monday. And Andrew Larave, Larave, you might say, mm -hmm. is joining <laughs> us now. Welcome to the show, Andrew. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Now, Andrew, you've been a musician a very long time. What got you started and how long have you been playing? Um, right as a kid, I come from a very musical family, so it was always around. Uh, my grandma was a piano teacher, and uh, <laughs> she taught me piano. I didn't practice very much, but uh, <laughs> I played trombone in elementary school, high school, and then I started writing songs when I was a teenager. Uh, learn guitar around that time and just kind of just love music, love being in bands, love uh, learning and playing with other musicians. That's fantastic. And, you know, piano lessons are hard <laughs> from anyone, but that's pretty cool that your grandma um, was teaching you. So you mentioned the trombone. <laughs> I don't know if you know this. That was my instrument. I love the trombone. That's my favorite instrument. Um, so you mentioned some of the other ones. Do you have a favorite one? Um, yeah, that's a really good question. I do really like playing the keyboard, like, later on after college, like, when I was going to school for music, I started playing piano more and then, like, started experimenting more with keyboard sounds and stuff like that, and that's really fun. But um, I'm more, I just like writing songs more than anything and recording, so any instrument is, like, a, a crayon in the crayon box that I can use to kind of, like just make new colors and stuff. That's a really good analogy <laughs> for is, that. Yeah. Now, did you teach yourself to play all these instruments? I know you mentioned your grandma kind of taught you to play piano, but the other ones? Um, I mean, I went through band and orchestra. I, I had music teachers, really good music teachers. Um, like, I was really into jazz in high school, and I had a really good uh, band teacher who was also a trombone player that taught me a lot. Um, guitar, I kind of self-taught, but my dad plays guitar, and... I have a bunch of friends that have, like, they've given me little tips and stuff, so I can't say I just taught myself. Like, I, I've i learned from a lot of people through the years and all that. What do you like about um, performing? Um, honestly, sometimes I get nervous. Some, I, I get anxiety sometimes, but uh, there is a rush. Like, when things are working really good and people seem really interested like that's the best feeling in the world where you feel like you're doing a service where like people are enjoying what you're doing and you're enjoying what you're doing so that's probably my favorite thing about performing now you also you play on your solo but you also play with a variety of mm -hmm. local musicians here in town what are some of the bands that you also play with um right now i am playing bass in a cover band uh we haven't our first show is coming up we're probably going to be starting to play more shows this summer when it's we're able to do so um and that's where we play a lot of like 90s music and early 2000s music and uh we think it's fun stuff that you don't necessarily get to hear all the time um i've been in a lot of different bands i played trombone in a, a funk r&b band called anonymous phenomenon um i played in a band called boreal gardens mm -hmm. chameleon moonflower uh a lot of those are kind of on hiatus right now just of what's going on in the world but uh i i've definitely been lucky to play with a lot of really cool bands well we are extra blessed to get to hear you perform today because of that so what are you going to play for us i'm going to play an original song it's called uh we have to hold on okay we're ready when you are okay Of the world that's all around us Our need for love might suck us dry But only because We can't see what's around us You say you'll fight for what's both yours and mine But we can't seem to cross that line Hanging to a moment We tell ourselves it all will work out fine But we still can't make up our mind We wait We have to hold on 
to what we have. We have to hold on to what we have. We have to. But we still need to dream and support all the dreams of those around us. I feel like I don't know what's right in an age when we're paid to sell others' illusion. Our need for things has robbed us blind, but we still play our game, lost in comfort and confusion. I try to break away from all the lies, but all my friends have cut their ties. I stay hanging to a moment. All that I've searched for has now been set aside. The quest for truth is dead to rights. I wait. We have to hold on to what we have. We have to hold on to what we. To what we have, but we still need to dream and support all the dreams of those around us. Fantastic. That was lovely. Yes, what a way to start off a Monday. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Well, this has been Studio Entertainment, and Andrew is also releasing a new sol solo album this year, so for updates on his album, you can follow him on Instagram at Andrew Music. Oh, I had chills.